full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals, are available on our website. As the national hunt season got underway on Friday at Chepstow, we returned to flat racing headquarters at Newmarket for Saturday's pick of the racing action. Chief Little Rock can bag the opener for Aidan O'Brien to upset the well-backed ancient wisdom from champion trainer Charlie Appleby's Moulton Paddock's base. With plenty of rain in the forecast, the Irish Raider might just have the edge over the costly home hope. With Andrew Balding's Arabic legend also in the mix, a decent race is in store. The Dewhurst is one of the most important juvenile contests in the European flat racing calendar, and after a sublime win here in the superlative stakes on the July course, City of Troy is very hard to oppose, though at a price to match. He won that Group 2 contest by over six lengths, form that has since been franked by the runner-up, going in at Goodwood in the vintage stakes. In the closer, a chance is taken on Perdica, with fingers crossed that she can cope on this softer ground with her top-of-the-ground action. In her favour, this is a marked drop in grade from the Group 1 Prix de l'Abbé where she was a fine runner-up to the smart Highfield Princess, after leading for a long way. On balance, she tops the shortlist, with William Buick booked for the trip adding to the appeal. Elsewhere, in a typically competitive Cesarevich, a chance is taken on the consistent Grand Providence. Irish Raiders have had a good run in recent years, so Gordon Elliott's Pied Piper, Emmett Mullins the shunter and Noel Mead's Jesse Evans have to enter calculations, but Grand Providence goes to post on a featherweight mark, and with Holly Doyle in the hot seat has a super each-way chance. Saturday's nap goes later on though, when Arabian Crown lines up in the Zetland. With champion trainer Charlie Appleby yet again in fine form as the British flat racing season draws to a close, more black type is on offer in the Zetland with Arabian Crown. He's won his last two, including the listed Stonehenge Stakes at Salisbury last time out, and a maiden at Sandown Park on soft ground before that. He's looked progressive with every run, and is one to keep on the watch list for the 10-12 furlong division next season, which brings the derby into the reckoning. One going the right way, and sure to be in the mix. Next up, Knight is our next best in the earth-like Darley stakes. Simon and Ed Crisford will be hoping that their Maymass gelding will finally break his season's duck in this group 3. With conditions looking just right, Knight can go one better than when a head runner-up to the smart chinned it at Sandown, last time out. He still had plenty of running in him in that one-mile listed contest, so this step up in trip is a logical move. Knight to take the crown in the last of the pattern races.